Today we're going to talk about engine overhaul kits and why you may need a new overhaul kit in your engine. You may find that your fuel economy is down, your power is down, you're consuming a lot of oil, or you got coolant in your crankcase. All those symptoms are indications that you may need an engine overhaul kit. All right, so here's what to expect when you get an out-of-frame overhaul kit from Highway and Heavy Parts. Uh, first thing you're going to get is you're going to get new cylinder liners with the liner seals. You're going to get piston crowns, piston skirts, wrist pins, and retainers. You got new ring sets, new rod bearings, new main bearings and new thrust bearings, as well as a complete out-of-frame overhaul gasket set. It's going to come with everything you need to do an out-of-frame overhaul. Included in your out-of-frame overhaul kit from Highway and Heavy Parts, you're going to get a complete gasket set included with that. When you open this thing up, it's going to have all the gaskets that you're going to need to do an out-of-chassis overhaul. Headset, pan set, front structure, rear structure, you're going to get front main seal, rear main seal, uh, exhaust manifold, port sleeves for the caterpillars, isolators. You're going to get everything you need to do that job all in one box. So one of the biggest questions I get when I uh, talk to guys on the phone, um, they say, Rob, why, why would I buy your kit over an OEM kit? Well, 30 to 50 percent off retail pricing uh, with our kit versus the OEM kit. And the biggest advantage with the highway and heavy parts overhaul kit is you're going to get brand new components. You're going to get a brand new liner, a brand new piston, brand new rings. When you buy a kit from the OEM, they'll charge you a core charge on your liner, on your piston, and those parts are refurbished parts. Uh, when you put brand new parts in your engine from HHP, I think you're getting a much better value. Um, the OEM will say, hey, we're saving you three, four hours worth of time because it's pre-assembled cylinder packs. Well, most of the mechanics I know uh, would rather put those rings on themselves and know that it's right than trust the OEM with their product. So if you find that you've got coolant in your engine oil, a lot of times the problem is going to be found in the lower O-rings of the cylinder liner or liner cavitation. When you overhaul your engine, putting a new liner, new liner O-rings back in the engine is going to solve that problem. So if your engine is using excessive engine oil, you've got high blow-by, uh, your oil consumption is through the roof, um, what you got going on most likely is liner to piston ring sealing problems. Um, an overhaul kit will solve that problem by putting new rings and new liners, which will give you a perfect sealing surface to reduce your oil consumption and get that power back. A couple questions that we get about overhaul kits quite often. Uh, people jump on the website and they see different prices uh, for, for very similar products. And what we're typically seeing is we're looking at there's three levels of overhaul kit. Starting with the most basic um, is called the re-ring kit. A, a re-ring kit assumes that your pistons are in good shape and you can reuse the pistons. So a re-ring kit will supply you a head gasket set, a pan gasket set, a new set of liners, a new set of rings, rod main thrust bearings, and that would be your re-ring in-frame kit. Now moving on from the re-ring kit, say you got piston damage, you scored a piston, or your piston's just not in that great a shape, you can upgrade to the in-frame kit. The in-frame kit is going to come with everything in the re-ring kit, plus we're going to add piston crowns and piston skirts, or, or pistons depending on the, uh, depending on the engine. And then if you've had a catastrophic failure and you've got to take a crank out of an engine or change an engine block, or maybe you just want to reseal all the leaks on your engine, 
uh, you can go to the out of frame kit. Assuming that you're going to take the engine out of the chassis and build that, it will come with everything in the in frame kit plus a complete gasket set. So you get front cover gaskets, you get bell housing gaskets, oil cooler gaskets, front crank seal, rear crank seal, uh, all the gaskets to rebuild that engine and get you back on the road. The gasket set is a critically important piece to your engine and your engine life. The gaskets are what's going to keep the oil in the engine, the coolant in the engine, and not on the ground, not on the road. Um, selecting proper materials uh, to, to seal the engine, selecting proper materials for the heat ranges that the engines uh, sustain today. Um, you can count on the gasket sets from highway and heavy parts uh, to be properly specced, um, to have the proper materials, and to be able to take care of the highest needs of your engine. So here we got a, a piston kit. Uh, the piston kit is going to be comprised of a piston crown. This particular one is a steel crown with an aluminum skirt. Two pieces kind of go together like that. Held together with a wrist pin. Wrist pin is retained by the two retainers. And included in that is going to be a ring set. This piston kit is manufactured to meet or exceed OEM specifications and it is made of all brand new parts. You're not getting a remanufactured piston crown. Piston crown is brand new, never been in an engine before. And that's the components of a piston kit. So in a cylinder kit, what we're going to get, we're going to get a piston crown. It's a brand new piston crown, never been used. This one happens to be a steel crown with an aluminum skirt. These two kind of go together like so. Uh, held together by the wrist pin and the retainers. You're also going to get a ring set, all three rings, and a brand new cylinder liner. Again, a brand new one, not a remanufactured liner, with brand new O-rings and crevice seal. And that's what you're going to get in a cylinder kit, my way in heavy parts. So the cylinder kit plays a vital role and its function within your engine is going to be that the piston, which is comprised of two pieces, the piston crown and the piston skirt, is going to be connected to your connecting rod via the wrist pin. These two pieces will go together and the wrist pin goes through there with the connecting rod assembled. It's going to transfer the power from the combustion chamber to your crankshaft and ultimately to your rear wheels. Um, within the cylinder kit you've also got a ring set. In the ring set, probably the most important part of the uh, cylinder kit is not only going to seal the combustion gases on the top side of the piston, but it's going to keep the oil on the bottom side of the piston. Um, that's the piece that, uh, that is going to seal your engine uh, and eliminate blow-by and eliminate oil consumption. Next in line is going to be the um, cylinder liner. The cylinder liner uh, has got a specific finish on the inside uh, to allow the uh, piston rings to seal to that liner. Um, that's the other half of the sealing team of the liner and the rings. The bottom side of the liner is going to have your O-rings and crevice seals, which is going to keep the coolant, which is going to be in the center portion here, from getting in your engine oil or getting up on the top side of your deck. Um, the, the liners uh, will have three O-rings at the bottom, uh, sealing the coolant from the oil pan. So what can you expect to see if you get into your engine and you've got some sort of failure? Um, just kind of going over the pieces that we've got here and, and what happens with them when they fail. Um, you could have a situation where your engine overheated and you might see on the piston skirt you've got scoring or the metal has come off the piston skirt and adhered to the liner. Um, you could see uh, sometimes on the bottom of the piston crown 
if your piston cooling nozzle is not pointed in the right direction or not supplying enough oil, you could see overheating in the bottom of the piston crown. Um, if you get to a situation where you've got an injector uh, that is malfunctioning, uh, you can have everything from scored cylinders to uh, eroded pistons. You may see that the top of the piston is, is completely eroded and melted. Um, when you get into uh, lack of lubrication, you can get into a situation where the wrist pin no longer uh, is lubricated and it uh, tears up the bearings and not only the piston crown, but the, the bushing and the top of the piston, uh, the connecting rod. Um, you may see uh, rings, uh, you may see rings are broken, uh, which is easy to see. Uh, a little bit less easy to determine is if a ring has just, uh, has just worn out and uh, come to the end of its useful life. Um, with a cylinder liner, you may see anything from uh, a glazed cylinder where the crosshatch is no longer good. Uh, it looks like a mirror finish in there. The rings can't seal to it anymore. Um, you may see that you've got a liner O-ring that has failed, allowing coolant to get into your engine oil. You may also see where you got liner cavitation. Liner cavitation will occur in this area of the liner and uh, the coolant will actually erode all the way through to the inside of the liner, allowing coolant to get into your uh, oil pan. And those are just a few of the things that you may find that go wrong with your, uh, with your engine that you may see when you get in there. And those are signs that uh, you need a in-frame overhaul kit or an out-of-frame overhaul kit. So here's another sign that you may need an overhaul on your engine. With the Caterpillar engines, uh, they're a little bit unique in the fact that the cylinder liner sits right on top of the block. And if you can imagine this, uh, this flange where it sits on top of the block, this liner moves in the engine as it's running. And a lot of times you may find that uh, you think you just got a blown head gasket and you take the head off and put a head gasket on and go down the road and 60,000 miles later, you got another blown head gasket and you can't quite figure out what's going on. One of the things that happens when that liner moves in the block as that engine's running is this liner will actually wear on the bottom flange and on the top of the block and that liner will drop down and it releases tension on the head gasket and it blows the head gasket. Unfortunately when it blows the head gasket it puts air into the cooling system in the cylinder head and severely overheats the cylinder head and a lot of times you'll find you got cracks between the exhaust valves on the caterpillars. Um, one of the things that you need to do to fix that right is uh, put new liners in the block that have a perfectly good surface here. And then you'll need to take the block and uh, have the counter bore cut on the block. Uh, they, they insert, these are gonna be stainless steel shims that will be inserted into the top of the block after you cut the counter bores. They come in 32 thousandths and 63 thousandths. Um, they are gonna be the, uh, the foundation for your liner when you put that back in the block. So if you put it back in the block with stainless steel shims, cut counter bores, and a perfectly good uh, surface on your liner flange, that's gonna take care of your blown head gasket issues, combustion in the cooling system, and those type of issues. Um, and that's the right way to, uh, to fix the problem with the Caterpillar engines. Keep in mind with your highway and heavy parts overhaul kit, you're getting brand new parts every time. No remanufactured pistons, no remanufactured liners. These are all brand new, ready to go with a two-year parts and labor warranty. Uh, if you got other items that you need to complete your repair, we, ha we can offer you heads, cams, fuel injectors, turbochargers, everything you need to make that repair complete. Um, we got the right parts at the right price, 30 to 50% off retail pricing. Um, you can check us out online at www.highwayandheavyparts.com where we've got an online quoting tool. You can put your engine serial number in and your engine model and we'd get back with you with a quote to uh, repair your engine or the parts you need to repair your engine. Um, you can call us at 855-447-1453.
and we'd be glad to help you out, may make suggestions, get you on the right track, get your truck back up and running. From diagnosis through delivery, that's Highway and Heavy Parts.